So we're gonna uh, we're starting off with the fool over here. So you're starting something brand new. You can see there's a lot of celebration. You're very enthusiastic to start this new thing, uh, a new cycle, a new phase of your life. So things are going to start moving for you and. Uh, you know, you are starting something brand new. You're taking that leap of faith. You're taking that chance and you're going to go for it. You've got the desire card. So you wanted to do this thing for a long time, whatever it is. You've got the moon sitting over here in this uh, four of cups over here. So the moon in cancer. So it might be something to do with the family life. It might be a new beginning as far as your family life goes. Maybe you're um, planning on taking a new direction. Uh, with this moon. And, you know, you're, you're using a lot of intuition as well with this moon in, in um, cancer. Uh, you can see she's got this pearl in her hand. So she, you've got that brand new idea as well. And you want something, you know, you want this, whatever this is, you wanted it, wanted to do it for a long time and you've wanted to do it really badly. So it looks like you're going to finally take that leap of faith and go for it, whatever this new phase is. Um, and, you know, you, it's, it's that Four of Cups. There's that new offer also coming in with that Four of Cups energy. So, um, you know, something brand new being offered to you, a new idea, um, and you're planning on doing this new thing as well. Then you've got the Clarity. So you're very, very focused. The, the Wind, uh, the Maiden of Clarity over here. You can see they've got the Archer over here, and she's on this uh, Eagle. So you're taking your power back, and you're focusing on your goal, and you have an idea exactly. You know exactly what you want to do. And you're going to take that leap of faith. You're going to go for it. So in the past, you've got the cleansing card over here, which is the five of uh, cups, uh, which is Mars in uh, Scorpio. So, you know, you were dealing with a lot of emotional problems and emotional issues. It was a very, very difficult emotional experience that you went through. There was a lot of regret and a lot of upset and a lot of disappointment that you've been through. And it may have been caused by people around you. And then you've got that um, Ace of um, Seas over here. So this is after having gone through those emotional problems, you came out, you know, uh, quite uh, mature and you've learned a lot from whatever happened. And this is having, you've, you've now decided to start a brand new emotional cycle. This could have even been, you know, have to going through a lot of disappointment and problems. You started a brand new emotional relationship as well. So you've definitely come up, um, you know, uh, um, put an end to all those problems and you are now starting brand new again as far as your emotional life goes. So you're taking on a new um, experience or a new stance as far as uh, how you deal with things on an emotional level. And you are going after what you want now with this desire card. Now going to the future, you've got the moon over here and the chariot. So the moon is about focusing all your attention on the thing that is on your mind. And since this desire card has got moon in Cancer, and Cancer is ruled by the moon, there's a lot of moon going on over here. So you are very, very focused, and you're using a lot of your intuition to get things done. Now, uh, you know, with the moon card, there could be some residual depression going on over here, feeling a bit confused about what you want to do. But... Uh, it's important for you to, with this maiden of clarity, see things from a very clear perspective, uh, you know, and move towards that. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of success. You've got this woman's skirt is made of a rainbow. So you will overcome any kind of obstacle that you are facing. You need to just focus on what you want and go for it. You've got the chariot card over here, and this is being very determined. And, you know, you, um, Athena was a god who had a lot of, she taught a lot of people a lot of skills. So you have what it takes. And this is another card with cancer. So, you know, you could be dealing with uh, some kind of family situation, and this is getting over that particular family situation. But, you know, you've got the cancer here as well with the chariot card. So you could be moving home. You could be buying a new home. But this is also a card of achievement, and this is achievement after dealing with very toxic people. You can see on this person's shield they've got a snake. So this shows that, you know, that you have... Um, managed to overcome any kind of toxic people that you were dealing with. You have reined in all these, you know, roped in all that uh, negative energies. You are determined, you are now focused, and you are moving forward with great determination. And you will achieve. This is a card of absolute achievement after dealing with so many difficult problems and so many difficult situations. So you are now uh, repelling all those negative people, and you've got your armor on, so you know exactly how to win a battle. You, you, are, you know how to defend yourself and you're taking control. This could be some travel as well that is involved, and like I said, this could even be relocating or moving home or buying a new home. So it's all about the home as well, and you're pretty much focused on it. 
you're putting an end to difficult cycles because this is a card the moon card is ruled by pisces and pisces is ruled by pluto and pluto puts an end to things that are no longer serving you but you have to put it you know you have to have that determination in your mind in order for you to end that difficult situation and you are going to be making a brand new start with that full card so these energies are showing that, you know, you are coming to terms with whatever that difficult situation is. You've learned a lot of lessons from it, and now you are determined and you are going to be moving forward. You're letting the past go. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Manga Tarot. So at the bottom of the deck, you can see there's the Three of Swords. And it looks like you dealt with a lot of emotional, you've been dealing with a lot of emotional problems here. And there's a lot of heartbreak in this card. This person is standing there in the rain crying. So you have been feeling very, very depressed, very, very miserable. You've had people that have disappointed you, people that have stabbed you in the back. There may have been some kind of loss that you went through and you are trying to get over it. And, you know, you, this person is standing in the middle of the road not knowing which way to go. So you can see that you know you have reached a point where you don't know what to do uh you know you had reached the point where uh there didn't seem to be anything worthwhile for you so you have come through a very very or you have been experiencing a very very difficult emotional situation and a lot of problems and maybe a lot of people let you down and you can see that with that five of cups crying over it so there's this there's that three as well over there and you can see those three swords over there so you might have been dealing with three people in your life that have caused a lot of problems see it's happened uh, it hasn't happened too recently um so you know you are getting over it because those cups are now over that uh, stream so you went through a lot of emotional problems did a lot of self-reflection by you know you're sitting by yourself reflecting on whatever happened as well and really it's you're still focused on that loss whatever that, that grief was um that you're going through you're still a bit focused on it right now there's something new coming in for you here uh maybe you haven't seen it or you're having to work through your way through uh that grief in order for you to uh to start seeing that there's something better out there for you um, but you are still a bit focused on it you're still crying you're still disappointed um you're still upset so you come from the three of cups and now you're trying to get over it with that five of cups so you will start you know you're starting to heal slowly it looks like there's somebody new coming in over here you've got the two of cups over here so there's somebody that comes in to help you so this could be a really good friendship it could be a, some kind of support structure that comes in for you somebody that's very very supportive that gives you advice that uh, shares uh, your burden your your emotional problems with you so somebody you can share with somebody that uh, understands you so this is a very soulmate kind of connection. So you do, you will have somebody that comes to get you through this grief that allows you to, gives you that shoulder to cry on really. So whatever loss you went through, it looks like somebody's going to help you heal. Because when this person comes in, it looks like you move away from that three of swords, you know, really raw hurt into that five of cups where you're now reflecting, you're putting it uh, you, you're putting some distance between you and that heartbreak. And this person seems to be the one that uh, helps you go to, uh, heal from that. It uh, helps you to start the healing process. You got the Prince of Pentacles, so this is what happened in the past. You were very, very focused on your work. You were, you know, taking your working very hard. It was slow going. You were very hard working, working late hours, and very, very much focused on your career. And then something happened. There's a death card of you. Now this could have been that you had actually physically lost somebody. Or maybe they they crossed over. But it seems like there has you've had to let go of something from the past, and it was a very sudden thing. Uh, the death card, you know, brings a sudden ending. So this was a sudden ending, and now you are um, being asked to move away from that and you know move into a different direction. So you can see that uh, you know you've had to uh, some kind of relationship that you were involved in, some kind of situation uh, came to an abrupt end, and it's caused a lot of heartbreak. And you know you're going through that. Uh, period of grief and loss at the moment but there there is somebody that's going to come in to help you so what's on your mind you've got the tower so whatever happened in this particular situation was quite devastating for you uh, there was a lot of loss 
Um, there might have been a lot of drama that was involved in it, but it looks like there was a lot of loss and a lot of devastation. You can see there's ash that is falling from the sky over here. So something, it was as though your, your whole world went up in smoke, it went up in flames. And that is how you're feeling at the moment. So going into the future, you need to refocus because you can see this emperor is refocusing on his power and refocusing on his inner strength. And that is how you're going to get through this uh, particular situation. You've got to refocus on all the good things in your life or all the things that you want um, and you need to move forward. So this is taking control, taking authority, taking power back in order for you, you to move forward. You've got the judgment card over here. So this is calling you to let go of that past and move forward so you are at that crossroads you know you can either let allow it to bring you down or you can make a you know decided um uh, a decided effort to actually leave back uh, leave the past behind and move forward this is you know this is usually the card of ascension so you've got to actually rise above that situation and you can see this angel is rising above it so you will be getting some divine help as well but you need to take back that control take back that focus take back your willpower take back your determination and rise above whatever has brought you down and this is where you are at you will start going through that once you get start healing and then the ace of cups comes in so this is a new emotional a change that comes in so you know you will have uh, you will have learned a lot from whatever happened and you will enter a new emotional cycle and that is coming in for you this could also be a new relationship coming in so if it was a loss of relationship it looks like there might be a new relationship that comes your way as well the two of wands is making a decision and having a desire and moving it forward so you need to find out what you want a lot uh, what you want out of life and make it a, a make plans and move towards that you can see she's got a heart in her hand over here so you have to go for something that you love make that decision and move forward the two of wands is you know even this judgment card is making that decision having reached that fork in the road making that decision and moving towards the thing, moving towards the thing that you love then you've got the three of pentacles the nine of cups and you've got the uh, five of pentacles over here so with the three of pentacles it's uh, you know focusing on your work focusing on being of service to others you can see all these people being of service to this person but focusing on your work and uh, you know um, allowing that work to distract you from that emotional problem that you went through so you need to change that focus focus on yourself focus on your career and you know you will get recognition for your work and it will produce you know you will get financial reward as well but you need to re you know change that focus uh, Move it away from being uh, depressed uh, and focus on something that you can construct. The um, three of one, uh, three of pentacles is working on something and making it um, uh, produce abundance, and that is what you need to do. Find that thing that is going to allow you to prosper and and focus on that and work on that, and that will allow you to heal. You've got the nine of cups. It is coming out of that emotional problem. So whatever you focus on, if you decide that you're going to focus on work, uh, you know, and and you. It's going to allow you to, um, you know, overcome whatever problem you went through. It's going to allow you to heal, and it's going to allow you to bring all your uh, your wishes, um, you make them manifest. So it's important. You're going to start something brand new, and you will be able to manifest. Uh, you know, but you need to focus on it. You need to concentrate on it. Um, and you've got the five of pentacles over here. So this is paying for abundance to come in. So whatever you're going to go through, uh, you know, you need to to make sure that you, um, you know, whatever um, issue you dealt with on an emotional level, leave it behind you and move forward and pray about it and ask for that abundance to come in. So this is, you know, praying for abundance to come in. You need to get some kind of spiritual um, practice that you do uh, that allows you to bring in uh, this manifestation. You will get everything you need. Uh, you you need to turn your back on all that lack and focus on uh, um, bringing in abundance back into your life again. So although you're feeling, you know, maybe this is how you're feeling. You're feeling that you have lost everything and, uh, you know, you're feeling very, very left out, um, very isolated, very unsupported right now. But it looks like it will change. And, you know, once you start focusing at your attentions and working on what you're focusing on, it looks like you're going to have that nine of cups coming in for you and you are going to achieve that happiness or that satisfaction that you have been looking forward, uh, looking for. 
So you're getting through a very, very difficult uh, situation. That emperor is talking about focusing your attention uh, on, on the thing that is very important for you, focusing on yourself. That emperor is usually ruled by Aries, so it is important for you to focus on yourself um, and uh, heal yourself first and then move forward. So I'm going to use the Guardian Angel Tarot for uh, the... Um, Oracle read, and the first one is the Six of Abundance, which says, Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance into you. An unexpected gift is on its way to you. Accept it with gratitude and humility, knowing that you have a chance to return the gener generosity by giving to others in the future. Uh, consider vol volunteering for a charitable organization. So the Six of Abundance is about, you know, if you're going through a financial loss, money is coming in for you, but also emotional support will be coming in for you, that Six of Abundance. Then you've got the help of emotion over here, which says romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love, gifts of flowers, love letters, poems, read aloud, a marriage proposals, weddings and past life connections are possible. Someone new who is romantic, dreamy and emotional may enter your life. So uh, there is there is an offer coming in for you. There is some sort of emotional offer coming in as well to help you deal. You've got that two of cups over here, which is talking about that person coming in. Uh, and is there, uh, you know, it might actually blossom into a relationship. This could also be a very, very good friendship, somebody very, very supportive, giving you that assistance to get through this problem. Then you've got that five of emotion, which says forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for the mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels or those you love to help you move through this process quickly so that you can get back to the path uh, to joy. So it looks like whatever the, you know, whatever you went through, uh, you know, you're gonna have to forgive yourself if 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 you're feeling as though you're responsible or or, or um, you know responsible for whatever happened. Um, you may have to forgive the other person or just let go of them. Really, um, you know, forgiveness doesn't mean you have to go to that person and say I forgive you. As long as you let them go, forgiveness is actually about letting go of that hurt. And that is what you need to overcome. Let go of that hurt. Let go, you know, because you were very devastated or you are feeling very devastated. It's important. And when you, f you feel devastated like this, usually because, um, you know, you feel maybe a part of you feels let down, um, you need to let go of that feeling. And uh, a way you can do that is, um, you know, by forgiving yourself um, and just um, maybe putting that particular situation out of your mind, you know, in um, it's good to do a, um, you know, mental visions or, or um, mental exercises where you are actually leave that person behind you, close the door on them and walk away from it. And maybe that's what you have to do in that situation. Envision, envision yourself closing that um, situation, uh, you know, and locking the door and walking away from it. And this is how you can start to move away from it. If you if you have those, um, you know, if you have those kind of visions in your mind, then eventually, you know, you will move away from it as well. So lock the door on it and turn your back on it and walk away from it. And that is how you're going to be able to overcome the situation and change your focus. Every time you feel depressed, you know, focus on your work, focus on something that is going to bring you joy. And this is the way you're going to be able to deal with a difficult emotional situation. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.